you gotta help me out here. What is this thing? <laughs> Obviously, it's a mic stand. We can see that by this little extension here. Let me show you what this thing does, and then you can maybe help me understand what it does. Does that make sense? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> got me, it got me good. This is the thing that's throwing me off, this angle. This clamps onto what I'm assuming is a table, but why the extreme right angle? There is an adjustment here. So I've messed around with it a little bit. I can adjust this and change angles. What is going on with this thing? But you can see this lets you twist it so I can, I can articulate it in a lot of different angles, which is cool. Fully extended, I can bring it back even. This little adjustment has teeth, so it's gonna hold its position once it's in. And then this lets me adjust this. Maybe you could have some insight on exactly the best use for this. Now, as I'm looking at this right now, just holding it, if I was in a basement and I had exposed rafters, that could be cool, because then I could clamp it there. The problem is that could easily just slide off, but I could see then, boom, bring that down, and then you got your little mic set up right where you need it. This is, hang on, hang on. I just had an idea. Here, I don't know if you can see that. There's a groove. That makes me wonder. I'm gonna try something, let's go. Okay, okay, hang on. okay, whoa. Come on, take a look. I'm looking for an adapter that I bought. And I don't know where it is. This is on my list of things that I think everyone should at least have one of. And it's a cold shoe adapter with a quarter 20 on the bottom. But I'm looking for something else. All right, one other option. Ah, yes, here it is. See, organization. You can never have too many of these. So what this is, is a very securely packaged metal adapter. Looks pretty standard, but what it is is it's a quarter 20 on this end, and on this end it's the mic adapter. And then that will fit on. Now we have a cold shoe on the end of a mic stand. We're gonna move down here where there's a little bit more room for my idea. But what I'm gonna try to do is set this up so the extension goes in front of my face on camera and we'll see if the audio on the camera can then be moved to here. I'm afraid that if I push this too hard, this will crunch and I don't wanna, don't wanna wreck that. So there's my setup and then I can adjust this, bring this up to my level. Then I got this little adapter right here that I was looking for. And you can see what this does is it helps me replace this mic holder. So I'm not going to use this mic. I'm going to use my Rode mic with the extension. And now I have a quarter 20. And now I can adapt it with my cold shoe and set up my Rode video mic. So let's do that. So we adapted this and now we're going to move it down here. All right. So I see right away I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Whew, I can really take that. That's crazy. Well, we don't need that exterior. All right, so we're gonna do that. This isn't really a bright, this isn't, this isn't ideal. It's hard to get a view of this on camera, so I'm gonna just show you an aerial view. This is how it's coming across. And then, boom, it's gonna be in my face. I think I need to get a little ball head adapter on this. I'll be right back. Surprising enough, I couldn't find the ball head, so I'm going to use this little clamp that I have from my other mic. Tighten this. All right, so it's obviously in camera right now. Let me, let me make some adjustments, some fine tuning adjustments. Really high tech way to focus. All right, so, whew, wasn't planning on being on camera. So there it is, this is the setup. This is the microphone right in front of my face. This is kind of cool, let me see. I mean, it's a little sketchy, but knowing that it folds up, 
I can see where it could be useful. I just need the right setup here at the bottom here. There's a little sample sample, testing, testing. I'm gonna do another test. I'll stick the mic on the camera. You can just hear the difference in what it sounds like when the microphone isn't right in front of my face. Now it is shooting up, but whatevs. And I'll stand at the same position so now you can hear what it sounds like. The old on the camera mic check. Whoa, where's my mic? If you want to see more about extending your microphone, check out my other video. I talk about getting that microphone in your face. This is one way to do that, I think. If you've seen this, that video, you see the setup. I use a separate mic stand and it just sets off to the side, which could be ideal. This could cause some trouble if you accidentally bump it, knock your whole camera down. That could be bad. Let's back. Set that there like that. And now we're back with the camera mic off the camera, closer to my face. I could see that if you're doing a lot of location stuff, you just want to minimize your setup, you could do it like this. I don't know, let me know if in the comments below if you know exactly what this mic stand is used for. I mean, it's pretty cool, it articulates in awkward way. <laughs> I can see where there's definitely other options that I think would be a better options. <laughs> but finding it at the Goodwill, I literally spent 99 cents on it. So I was really curious just to see how I might be able to use it. This seems like this would be the most ideal setup, or like I said, if I had rafters that were exposed, I could hang it from the ceiling and have like a mic or a camera stand from the ceiling. Definitely would not use a lot of weight on the end of this. There's a lot of torque happening down there by those little screws over there. It's a little sketchy. What a weird contraption. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what this little mic stand is specifically for, or maybe I'm using it the right way, I don't know. Anyways, fun little experiment. If you like stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of my other tutorials and random little things like this. Let me know what you would use this for or what it's for. Knob top, go make something.